<laughs> Sorry. Um, so now she decided to join the club, and their primary on the Christmas Day releases, and their primary goal was to have all their tests run on the new versions of Ruby, which it does. So, you know, if you need to use 192, patch 136, you can use Sinatra. Uh, R.3 came out, and the, the coolest new feature by far in that is that it has code documentation coverage. So if you your code coverage, it will tell you how much your tests are covered. That's crazy. Yeah, it will actually tell you which things in your app aren't documented to encourage you to document them, which I thought was pretty awesome. <laughs> and uh, Rubinius 1.2 came out. I mostly listed that one just because they actually made like, a ton of changes. For a point release, the, the change list was actually really, really large. Did anybody here use Rubinius? I hear good things, but that's as far as close as I've ever gotten to trying it. That's not true. I've been trying it for a day. I've never used it. What exactly is it? Um, Faster Ruby. Ruby. Uh, that's their goal, anyway. It's Isn't it written in Ruby as well as Ruby? Ruby? That was originally its its Ruby uh, C++ it's now. altruistic yeah. goal, but yeah. Yeah, ultimately they had to break down and use C++. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's about 30% Ruby, which is a lot more than Matt's Ruby. Yeah. Because one of the uh, one of the major upgrades was to LLVM 2.8, which I think they got a lot of performance out of by switching to. So their lofty goal is a little less lofty now, but I think some people are so excited about it. Um, this was so less technical. Anybody want to guess what this is? Local yeah. job board. This is not. This is not local. Delayed no. job or something? No, this is actually not uh, not technical though. It is Ruby news, so uh, less. <laughs> A little more social. So apparently, Chicago is completely dry of Ruby developers, or at least so the bloggers there have been saying in the blogosphere. Like they're bemoaning their fate that they have so many great Ruby companies that there are no more Ruby developers to hire. So if you would like a Ruby job, apparently Chicago is dry. It's yours for the taking. <laughs> um, Mostly, uh, I thought this is an upcoming conference called Ruby on Ales, which I just thought that was uh, <laughs> a hilarious beer, beer bent on Ruby conference coming up in March. Uh, this is this is their logo. Uh, it didn't really seem like they had any speakers kind of yet, but their their website design was pretty nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> Spoilers. They wrote new code. It was only a little bit, but it's over now. I'm telling you, I, I cut some JavaScript, I pasted some JavaScript, I did a couple of string replaces, but that was enough. That was enough. Yeah. It's the end of an era. Oh, I cry. Uh, you mean we don't get a cake next year? <laughs> that is correct. The streak is over. This is your one and only cake. Oh. Uh, what if you don't write? What if you don't write any for another year? Um. Uh, We'll see what happens. <laughs> it's a whole lot of. We have Nate's semi annual cake. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Uludu, uh made, made locally was end of life with some promise of possible open sourcing. Uh, but I couldn't find out anything more about that before, before I got here. Because through time I made this. Like an hour before I came here. So, uh, <laughs> did I did I miss anything? Any local or global news that's super important that I missed? No, I managed to get it all in an hour, huh? Sweet. <laughs> uh, Max has been talking about 188. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah. They're this crazy. It's gonna be awesome. There was that which uh, which probably sparked that. There was some there was some controversy. There was an article. Uh, it's a new way that one of the biggest problems with Ruby right now is getting, is keeping track of the number of versions. I mean, there's really no point in having three branches of 1.8 on top of the hypothetically stable 1.9.2 branch and also maintaining 1.9.1 and talk about reducing 1.9.3 in another year. <laughs> so, I don't think that anybody... Who here uses anything other than, than 1.8.7? Okay, what do you use? 1.9.2. 
Anybody use anything other than 192 or 187? Uh, Enterprise? Like, it doesn't matter which. Okay. Just 186. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, pro tip our dog food will not work with 186. Nothing works with 186. Yeah, that's pretty true. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't feel like it doesn't seem like it's actually an issue. Pretty much people use 187 or 192, but it's a thing that apparently people are complaining about. So, yeah, Matt's was. Well, Matt's opinion is actually that 188 is impossible, but he thinks people might be clamoring for it. So, we'll see if that actually gets released or not. Anything else? Cool. Thanks. Actually, question. Yeah. As a complete new, new like it's a zero experience, what is the whole versioning? state of it. Of, so um, typically people are using like the the production stable branch of, of 1.8 is 187 and people typically use the latest patch level so you probably want to use uh, 330 uh, but you know between the patch levels there's not there's not really very much difference and then the primary difference like the, the change between 1.8 and 1.9 there were a lot of uh, incompatible syntax changes, so that's where people are using two different branches. So, people that are using newer versions of Rails or Sinatra or something like that, that's that's one nine compatible, and one nine has a lot of performance increases and things like that. So people are encouraged to use one nine two, but a lot of people don't have that luxury. So continuing to use the maintained one seven branch. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. So in general, it varies. It varies. We, we just did an upgrade in what four hours? It was all about gems. Four or six hours. There are a lot of gems, and then a couple little syntax things we had to change. But it was a day. Um, it depends heavily. It could on also be much, much worse than that. Depends heavily on your external libraries. Like a lot of the popular libraries are already 1.9 compatible. If you're using something more obscure, you might be saddled with 1.8.7 just because they won't change. And that's that's where a lot of people are already get issues. 1.9.2 is kind of old enough that uh, a lot of people have endured the pain for you. 